Thank you so much for attending the webinar today on kidney failure. Uh, my name is Anjay Rastogi. I'm professor and clinical chief of nephrology at UCLA. And today we'll be talking about the kidney fair that's happening at the beach, June 3rd, 2018. Um, and I have two special guests with me today. Uh, on the first one is Mary Beth. Um, she is my patient. Uh, was on hemodialysis, actually home dialysis, home dialysis, and then got a kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. And she'll be uh, speaking about what the fair means to her. And then right next to her is uh, Brandy. And Brandy's husband uh, was, or is my patient actually, uh, and uh, got a kidney transplant. And Brandy is a living donor. She gave her kidney to Patrick. So with that, I'll start with Mary Beth. Uh, Mary Beth, uh, you've been at the fairs before. I have. Uh, what, what does this fair mean to you? Well, I went to the fair in 2012. I think we held it in March um, for the first time when I had been, uh, two months before I had been diagnosed with stage five renal failure and had the fortunate, fortunate luck to go to UCLA. No wonder it's called Best in the West. and found Dr. Rostogi and uh, spent five years on dialysis. I'm happy to tell you I'm going to the fair this Sunday and I received a deceased kidney December 16, 2016. And so it's really a projection of going to the fair for the first time and seeing how many people were down there on that beach or how many people and their families are suffering from kidney disease were at the fair to get information because, like myself, I had very little information. So I was so happy when I went last year and you see all of these people, you get to ask all the questions. And all I wanted to do the first time I went there is find somebody else who had stage five and how were they doing it. So it really is an amazing event where you can bring your children, you can have fun, you can be at the beach, and you can get great information. Very Come. Good. <laughs> very good. good. So Mary Beth, just a, a bit of your background. Um, you're, you're a very highly educated person. You actually educate other people. Yes. Principal of a very esteemed high school um, uh, in, in L.A. Yes. Um, but what were the challenges that you faced when you were initially diagnosed? Well, when I was initially diagnosed, you know, you have a vision of yourself of who you are and, and what you're doing in the world. And it's a very difficult diagnosis. Like myself, it came out of the blue. I didn't have high blood pressure. I didn't have uh, a lot of. I didn't have diabetes, and so what I really found out the first time I met went to UCLA and met Dr. Rostogi, I only knew that there was in center, and so that doesn't give you a lot of hope. And I went and met with Dr. Rostogi and his team at UCLA, and I found out that they were really pushing me to take charge of my own health and my own journey with kidney. A disease, and they would that would be my partner, and that was a, a really different experience for me. So the biggest thing it gave me is Dr. Rostogi was thrilled when I said to him, "How long is this going to take? I have to get back to work, and you know I have this is this is taking too long. I've got to get to work." And I also, um, you know, you could help other people and be positive. So during that time, nobody travels. I travel constantly, so I got hope. So when you go to the fair, you can meet someone like me, and I can tell you how I did it, and that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Mary Beth. So I think the key points that I will take from this is that you were on home dialysis, which was initially not offered as an option, and, and that's what we're pushing for, because home dialysis has the best outcomes. And at the fair, we will have a lot of patients who are on home dialysis, and will share it there. Then. And if, so if you're on dialysis and not on home, the question you need to ask is, why not? Uh, and come to the fair and get more information about that. Now, uh, just before uh, I uh, segue into Brandy, just about kidney disease. Kidney disease is highly prevalent. One in six adult uh, U.S. citizens actually have kidney problems, and it's growing. The number is growing. Um, besides being highly prevalent, it's a challenge to diagnose because it's in most of the time it's a silent disease. It doesn't cause any symptoms, um, and that's where where the challenge comes in because by the time it's diagnosed, it's they, there's a lot of damage is already done. There's also high mortality and morbidity associated with kidney disease, and there's also a very high financial cost. And that is the purpose of the fair. Is the purpose of the fair is like what Mary Beth said, is to make your, you your best advocate. Um, there's a lot of entertainment, but a lot of education as well. And with that, I will like, and by the way, it is a free event, so there's no cost. And the way I look at it, you will spend a beautiful day at the beach with your family, and, and if you have, have dogs, bring them. 
and and learn and and spend the entire day. So it's it's it, there should be a good reason for you not to attend. Yes. <laughs> now with that, I uh, Brandy, uh, with your background, um, you know. Your, your husband is my patient, yes. uh, type 1 diabetic. So the other thing, it's not just kidney disease, the two most common causes of patients ending up on, on dialysis in, in the US or actually the Western society is high blood pressure and also diabetes. And there'll be a lot of focus on these two disease states as well. And who better than, than Brandy to talk about that? Yeah, the fair is a great event um, where we have a lot of people that come out and they do have people who show up with a lot of questions and we're happy to answer those questions. It's, um, it's a fun event, it's great for families, and it's very informative for anybody who has uh, kidney disease or even those who don't have kidney disease because, as Dr. Isoki said, it's, it's pretty prevalent and at some point in your life you will meet somebody. So it's good to have that kind of information. Mm -hmm. And, and Brandon, just so your background too, I know Mary Beth is in education, you know, mm -hmm. a principal of a very esteemed, and your background was, is, is in marketing. Yes. And, and also uh, in a bit of psychology. So, yes, I am. So you want to discuss those too? I have a background in marketing and um, started studying psychology after the kidney transplant, actually. <laughs> it kind of <laughs> refocused my life, and I had to decide which direction I wanted to go, and that's the direction I am going in. Okay. And so uh, tell me more about, about the kidney donation, the living donors. Um, there's a lot of different types of living donors. There's directed donors. There's donors who uh, get involved in a chain if they're not a direct match with somebody they want to donate to. There's chains that they could donate to somebody and then that person donates to somebody and it ends up being a, a long chain, which UCLA was the first um, hospital yeah. to do that, to participate in that. And there's also um, uh, altruistic donors who will donate to people they've never met before. Right. They just know they want to donate. So. Right. Many different ways. So, uh, so some of the key focuses for this fair uh, that we're putting together, one is uh, making sure that people are educated about home dialysis because there are a lot of patients who don't know about home dialysis. Uh, so this will be a perfect place to come and learn more. Uh, there will be a lot of MDs over there, a lot of nurse practitioners, NPs. Uh, there'll also be dietitians, which I'll come back. That's a that's a. Uh, we'll spend a few minutes on that. So this is a perfect place. But the other big focus is transplant and. Uh, in, in the most recent uh, data, if you pull, 18,000 patients are listed, um, actually more than 80,000, and there were only about 18,000 transplants done, and about one-third were from living donors. So one of our big focuses at UCLA is to increase organ donation awareness, and we're working very closely with Donate Life. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes a big difference. We actually, uh, and, and the way, the, the, what what the the message that we want to get across is that living donation and Brandy, you went through. You want to just go through very briefly what you went through the the assessment as as an organ donor, and you just happened to end up in my clinic. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, going through the process as soon as we found out my husband would need a transplant, um, you know, I wanted to get tested right away, and um, you know, I had everybody asking me, of course, so, you know, aren't you nervous? Is this something you really want to do? Have you really considered this? And what I just kept going back to was, it's UCLA, it's the best in the West, and if they say I'm okay to do it, then I believe that I'm okay to do it. So I just had full confidence in the hospital I was at and the doctors that we were with. Right. And I think that's very important. So a lot of people think that, that you just come in and we'll take the organs, and actually it's just the opposite. We actually put them through a very yes. pretty, uh, strong screening process, and uh, and if they they qualify, that means that they're actually in good health at that time. You know, future is difficult to predict, but we try to do our best. So if 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 you are considering yourself to be a kidney donor, this will be a perfect place because you you meet Brandy and her whole team of kidney donors that are that will be there at the fair. Yes. So so transplant um, organ donation awareness is is actually a very big part of our our, our campaign this year, and we're mm -hmm. calling the ODAC the organ donation awareness campaign. The other group that I do want to mention, they're not here, is our undergraduate club, the Brewing Beans Health Club. Um, these are usually undergraduates training the futures, and we call them the beans. We, we have a lot of names for them, but they're just wonderful people, and they will be at the fair. Uh, there will also be the PAC team um, there as well, the, the patient or people animal connection uh, mm -hmm. with the dogs. Uh, so these are, are dogs that will be actually at the fair. You can bring your own dogs as well. Um, and the role of, of, of pets in, in, in healing, which, which we'll be discussing. Mm -hmm. Now, Brandy, um, I, I, I know you founded uh, the Global Kidney Health. Okay. So can you, and I know Global Kidney Health is a very big supporter of UCLA Health mm -hmm. and a very big supporter of, of kidney disease. So just a few lines about the Global Kidney Health. Yeah, I co-founded well, co Global Kidney Health after the process of donation. Um, I just met so many people that had so many 
questions that I had and I just felt like there was just a gap of information that could be filled and that's why I co-founded Global Kidney Health and um, we'll be there in support of the fair. Yeah. And um, and looks like you're bringing your whole team. So, so we are. some people that you're bringing for entertainment. <laughs> yes, we're bringing. Um, so Macy K will be performing. We have a boy band called uh, Saving Forever who will be performing, and we have a huge comedy writer uh, Drew Gormley will be hosting the kidney fair. Very good. And we also have Kristen Renton will be at the Global Kidney Health booth. So. Mm -hmm. Stop by and see her as well. So an all star team. Very yes. good. Very good. Thank you so much, Brandy, and thank you for, for bringing all this. And then this segues into the role of music. So, the purpose of this, this fair is to bring hope. I mean, that's really what, what we want and, and positivity. You know, and I always say it's not what happens to us, but how we react what happens to us. And, and the thing is something we can't change, but there are a lot of things we can change. And, and one is, is focusing on a diet and nutrition. So, there will be at least 10 registered dietitians um, at the at the fair and you should come and talk to them. They are absolutely fantastic, fantastic dietitians that I've worked with. A lot of the questions that I get asked from my patients is, I'm always told what I can't eat, mm -hmm. but I need to know what I can eat. And I think if that's the question you have, this will be a perfect place to come. But with that, I, Brandy, you're also working on something with nutrition because you went through this with your husband. Yes, um, yes. And, um, and you're doing something about this as well. Yeah, nutrition seems to be such a huge part of um, anybody with kidney disease, whether whatever stage you're in, everybody tells you the first thing, you know, really watch your nutrition. Or especially if you're on dialysis already, that's a huge part. So, um, and even, you know, post-transplant, you, you have to, you know, be careful with what you eat. You want to keep your sodium levels down. So we're doing a nutrition assistance program. We're going to be doing a research study of um, taking patients and, and giving them some financial support, those who cannot really afford to you know, necessarily eat healthy all the time. So we're going to be giving them financial support, some nutritional counseling, and some cooking supplies, <laughs> some kitchen supplies. Mm -hmm. and. Um, seeing where that goes. And hopefully, you know, one of these days with the research, we could turn that into a government subsidy pl program. That's our well, goal. That's amazing, Brandy. That, that, that's truly fantastic. I mean, that, that's a big need. And, and this also fair happens to be our main fundraising event. And yes. I know, Mary Beth, you have been involved with the fundraising, yes. and so has been Brandy. So, right. And so what we really have our hopes and dreams of having at UCLA a really a center that Dr. Verstoga, you talk a little bit more about. We need a center. Right, right. And and here, um, I, I so the kidney center. We we started with something called the PKD Center. So, a place where you can get comprehensive care, one one stop shop basically. And I think, uh, Brandy, what you went through, you came from a different hospital. Yes. You were transferred over here. And quote unquote, it was a mess. That's the word that that uh, you and Patrick had meant. That there was a lot of misinformation or wrong information being provided. There was a lot of wrong information and just a lot of um, I don't even know the right word. Just it was a wall going to the other hospital. You, we had no information. We had it was very black and white. There were there were no groundbreaking things. I mean, they wanted to put him on hemodialysis right away. And when we came to UCLA, they said, you know, no, you go wait and you can go on PD. And it was just a peritoneal yes. dialysis. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just a whole that, different experience. Right. That's pretty common. My, when I first came to got, got, you know, for a second opinion at UCLA, it was interesting. Uh, I had been told that I had to go on uh, dialysis immediately. Mm -hmm. And with a lot of luck, I would, you know, last 10 years, maybe. And so by the time I came to UCLA, I remember my husband said he had just gone, just even from the website from UCLA, he said, mm -hmm. I, hear, I hear there's another way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just to be misinformed, I, I just want to add one thing to that. If, uh, if you know somebody who's not talking about kidney disease or is avoiding, because I kn know so many people who don't really want to talk about it, it's a neighbor, it's someone who's working in your house, it's anybody. If you could just get them to come on Saturday and just hear the, even just hear it, maybe they're not going to do anything with it yet, that's, that's the kind of people to get out there. Because right. if they can they can save what we went through, yep. it, would be, it would be so much better for them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what, what a very important thing you mentioned. There's a lot of time and effort UCLA Health puts into putting these fairs together. Absolutely. It's all volunteer work. Yeah. It's a free event. We were being asked to charge for it. We said, absolutely not. We will not go and charge for this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that we want to do for the public community, that increasing awareness. And what we want is, is everybody to be proactive in their health. And there's no, like I said, there'll be healthcare providers at the fair, there'll be nurses, there'll be MDs, there'll be surgeons, everybody. So this is the place. There'll be dietitians, mm -hmm. but most importantly, there'll be people like, like Brandy and Mary Beth, the ambassadors, the true ambassadors, the support group that you can talk to. I always say, 
I know about kidney disease, I know about dialysis, I know about transplant, but I don't have kidney problems myself. Mm -hmm. And there's nobody better to talk to than somebody who has been through Absolutely. the process. Brandy as, as, as a spouse, uh, of her, because that's also very important, and, and Mary Beth having living the whole thing. So so I, I really think it's, it's, it's very important to come and support either you have kidney disease yourself, uh, or your family member, mm -hmm. uh, or high blood pressure, or diabetes. I think this, this will be a really, really good place to show that you really care uh, about about uh, about the, the cause and and our, our, our really hope is now going back to kidney center so so we, we have this program called the core kidney programs core C O R E C stands for clinical excellence O is for outreach research and education and when Mary Beth you ask what is a kidney center it's a comprehensive care so what does comprehensive care really mean it means that the best clinical care you can get and also at, at the least amount of cost because mm -hmm. at the end cost does build up so we want to balance both but getting the best care to the patient and and that means interdisciplinary the, one of the biggest problems that I see is people don't talk into that you see to a cardiologist you see a nephrologist you see a rheumatologist and they don't talk to each other even if they work in the same same system mm -hmm. so what we want to bring to the kidney center is, and UCLA is a leader in this, is bringing all these subspecialties together mm -hmm. so they can work, and patient being a part of it, rather than being told, this is what you should do. So that's where the kidney center comes from. Clinical research is a big part. One of the other things that I want to mention is uh, a lot of my patients who will be attending this fair have been on clinical trials. Mary Beth, were you yeah. on a study? Mm -hmm. So Mary Beth was, was, was actually on, 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 on this, one of our studies as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. and, and these clinical trials are, and people say, well, well, I'm a guinea pig. That's actually not true. These trials have to go through a lot of vetting and finally approved by UCLA mm -hmm. IRB. So, so there's a lot of oversight. And, and there'll be, so that's also what people come to UCLA is for, for advances in medicine. And we do a lot of that. So that will be discussed. Polycystic kidney disease, which is the mm -hmm. third most common cause of patients ending up on dialysis, will be there as well. So there'll be a lot of adjunct PKD, Fabris, l -ports, diabetes, hypertension, but a lot of fun stuff as well. And there's a kid needs zone as well. So kid needs, so for kids, and there's a special section. Um, uh, Bridget from, from, from our, our program is working on, on a special, and she has it every year, in which, which kids will come in. And uh, I just see this this little guy over here. So so who's this person, yes. uh, Brandy? This year we're lucky enough to be uh, sponsored by um, Build a Bear. So we are. He actually has a shirt, but we give it down. <laughs> and um, so we will be giving out free Build a Bears to guests at the kidney fair. We do have a limited number, so you know, hopefully see you there. Come early. So it's it's, it's opportunity drawing. So uh, so all the kids, they're, they're babies on dialysis, yes. right? Yes. And and uh, and thank you very much, Brandy. This is the other thing that Global Kidney Health is sponsoring. Mm -hmm. They they are working with Build a Bear. UCLA is Bruin, so so that's 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 where the connection comes in. And so all the patients, UCLA patients on chronic hemodialysis or dialysis period, mm -hmm. will be getting uh, a gift yes. from, from the Build a Bear. And then we will have a limit. So there are limited numbers left. So yes. there'll be opportunity drawing in which people will, will get these tickets and and. Uh, who wins? I wish we could give it to everyone. Yes. But unfortunately, we don't have have as many. So 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 this is so this little guy is is, is going to be uh, being given out as well. Now, uh, what else? So so much more to talk about. And then, um, so I just want to introduce now a very special person. Um, name is Christina Lopez, the heart and soul of our core kidney program. Yes. And. Uh, the person who's always in the background, so we want to come in. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so, Christina, you want to get a few lines about uh, Sure. About the um, it's always an honor um, to do the work that I do. Every morning I, I wake up, and I've said it many times before, um, it's always a pleasure to wake up in the morning and know that I'm going to do something great today. And um, this is one of them. We start planning for the fair a year before. Uh, we've already started planning for next year. And um, so we really would like to invite everybody to uh, register and be a part of our fair on Sunday. Um, it'll be fun. You won't regret it. It's at the beach. Um, you spend a little time with you know, at the fair and then you know spend the rest of the day at the beach. So it's, it's a very, very fun uh, day. Um, and uh, the core kidney program, um, like Dr. Rostogi said, it stands for Clinical Excellence, Outreach, Research, and Education. Um, that's something that we put together, and uh, we're, our goal is the Kidney Center. Um, it's all for the patients and their families and friends and everybody else that can benefit from that. Um, we also have the Spanish um, section that we will have as well. Um, so if you know anybody that is Spanish-speaking, we'll have a lot of resources there at the fair for them. 
um, and the kidney zone. The kidney zone is one of our uh, favorites, and we will have the bear. Get, we'll be giving out the the bear. Um, so it's just a, a great right. to be part of this team. And there'll be a lot of opportunity drawings that they'll be g given out, so so you can you can get the tickets and mm -hmm. and a lot of gifts will, will be given out as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, just some some um, final comments, uh, Brandy. The kidney fair is uh, has the green ribbon. Green ribbon is for kidney disease awareness. So when you come to the fair, you will get your own green ribbon, and we will have green ribbon gear everywhere. So, um, but it will be fun for the whole family. Um, again, don't feel like you have to come if you just because you have kidney disease. Everybody's welcome. It's right on the beach. I mean, if you're riding your bike, please stop by, say hi. Um, let us know you watched us on the web <laughs> and some likes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'd al I'd also like to talk to you about the run walk. Um, we're also having yeah, the run yeah. walk. Please form your team. Register today, and uh, we'll see you at the fair. Yeah. I just want to say that uh, take advantage of coming out this Sunday. I hear the weather is going to be fantastic. fantastic. He's yes. ordered it. He's ordered it. It's going to be fantastic. It'll be out in the sun. And it's really kind of a fun thing to do. As Christina said, even if you don't have kidney disease, it's, it's, if you have a family and you have children, it's role modeling, bringing them out where you see adults exercising, enjoying themselves, uh, can talk about what someone's suffering from. Who knows? You may get us the next great nephrologist that you bought who's inspired that day. But I can tell you, you can't go to that and not walk away. Like, you can't give a kidney or get a kidney and say, thanks a lot. It was great. I'm feeling great. Come and just support the community. You have UCLA, as I say again, best in the West, yeah. right in your right. neighborhood. Yeah. You have available. These doctors are going to be standing on the boardwalk. You know, get a question answered. Find out. Yeah. So many families are struggling with better meals or what, what is the right way to avoid all of these things. Mm -hmm. So even if you can only come for an hour, come for an hour. So very good. So just to recap, the, we, first of all, I want to thank all, all three lovely ladies. Uh, thank you very, very much. You took time out of your busy day to be here. Um, the fair is on June 3rd. It's at Santa Monica Beach. The address should be on the, one of the slides. It starts at 10 a.m. and goes till 2 p.m., like, like Mary Beth said. You know, it will greatly stay for the whole thing, but, but even if you come for a small portion, please do attend. Um, it's a free event, so bring all your family, friends, and whoever you can, spread the word. Um, registration portion. So if there is an online registration, we would we would urge you to do that. If there's any questions, you can call us. And, and if things don't work out, just show up. We'll register you on site as well. Mm -hmm. The run and the walk is to support, the like was pointed out, this is our main fundraiser, and every single penny goes towards fighting the cause. But the run and walk are optional. So, um, so but but if you can run, if you can walk, please do so to support. So at the end, it, it's it's fun and entertainment combined with a lot of education. And our big focus is, is are going to be transplantation. Was going to be home dialysis, which 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 really we want to get the word out. Is going to be about nutrition, the role of diet and nutrition and health. Uh, like I mentioned, there'll be ten registered dietitians, kidney uh, specialists, who will be there at the fair to answer your questions. So with that, uh, we'll be signing off. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the fair, June 3rd. Thank you very much.